Hey y'all, it's me, Serena. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Mr. Louie. I can't always pick my dogs up and show you their cute faces because they're a little bit heavy. <laughs> they weigh about 30 pounds each. They're wire hair fox terriers. I have two of them. Um, I have Coco and Louie. Louie, hello boy, he's a good boy. Yes, they are very energetic and happy dogs. And they are litter mates. I got them at the same time. And they just turned five years old. So Louie just wants to say, hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Not really. He says, put me down, mama. You crazy woman. Leave me alone. All right. <laughs> I'm so glad to be back with you guys today. I have a wantable uh, box full of goodies for you guys. And I'm pretty excited about this because this is my first box that I've got this fall that's, it's not just hinting at fall. Everything is pretty much fall. I mean, I've got turtlenecks, I've got sweatshirts, I've got quilted vests, I've got a Sherpa lined jacket. I got all kinds of fall warm and fuzzy goodies. Warm and fuzzy just like my puppies. Yes, just like my sweet doggies. Okay, so wantable. Uh, Wantable is one of my favorite, very favorite uh, subscription box services. They send you seven, one, two, three, four, five, yes, seven items, which is a good number, I think. So seven items, you get five days to try everything on, decide what you like, what you're going to keep, and ship back what you don't. And of course, shipping is free both ways. And there is a $20 styling fee that does get applied toward um, anything that you may keep. And also, if you keep five of the seven items, you get a 20% discount. So that helps. Doesn't matter which five, or if you keep all seven, you get 20% off. But if you keep five, you get 20% off. And so that helps too. Um, when you sign up for Wantable, you put in all your stats and everything, your likes, your dislikes. You go through what they call their stream, and you can um, thumbs up, thumbs down, or mark as a favorite, different looks. And that gives your stylist an idea of what kind of things you like and what you're looking for. Uh, I think Wantable skews a little more toward the casual. Um, they're a little bit more like Transcend, not quite as expensive as Transcend, but they do have some overlapping with the brands they carry. Some of the, not 100%, but there is some overlap there between brands. But on average, I would say Wantable is, is uh, a little cheaper, a little more affordable than Transcend. So I'll just hit the high points on some of these items and then I'll get with a try on but my stylist that's helping me for the this box and the previous one is named Serena so and she spells it the same as my name and everything so that's pretty neat and um and this is the second month in a row that everything she sent me this time is something that I had marked as a favorite um, on their stream. I do have a pair of denim. This is a pair of straight leg jeans. This is by CNC California. I'm familiar with the brand, but I've never had any of their jeans. They have some very light distressing, well, a little rip in that knee, some distressing here. And then at the ankle, they have this little slit, which I think is cute. So I've got those. They sent me this skirt. I love this skirt. You guys know I'm a fan of animal print. This is by Kinsey. It's got a raw hem at the bottom. And it's just like a little jean skirt. It's a stretch twill fabric. And um, I'm hoping that this works and it's not too small um, because I do love that. And they sent me a vest. I'm a vest fan in the wintertime um, and fall and winter in our climate. Uh, lots of times I will wear vests because they're easy to pop in and out of your car. You know, if you're going in and out quickly and it's cool or cold, but um, you're not going to be outside very long. I like wearing vests because you can be indoors and not get as overheated or need to take it off and put it somewhere like you do a big jacket. So I do like vests and this one is kind of a, kind of like a mushroom color. 
it's like a light grayish brown, I guess. And I like the design of the quilting in this one. So I really like that. Uh, she sent me two turtlenecks and they're the exact same. So I'm probably just gonna try one on cause they're gonna fit the same. One is this pretty uh, forest green color. And then the other one is called um, mocha or something like that, but it's kind of a cinnamony brown color. I don't know, y'all have to help me decide which one of these is more flattering on me, the green or the warm brown. And then I got this sweatshirt. This is by, not Suburban Riot, or I think it is by Suburban Riot. It says favorite daughter. I have uh, a sister who might take issue with that, but um, I had marked this as a favorite just because I thought it was cute, you know, and then, um, you know, I have two daughters. I probably couldn't give it to one of them unless I gave each of them the same one because, of course, I can't say that I have a favorite daughter and I can I? So that is just a big, comfy, cute sweatshirt. And then the last item is this jacket. This is by Hem and Thread. And it's a fleece jacket and it's lined with this Sherpa. And that is just so soft and yummy. Now this is definitely gonna be a cold weather kind of thing for where I am. The sleeves are not lined in the Sherpa. It's just kind of like a knit material, but the whole body of the jacket is lined with the Sherpa. So can't wait to try this stuff on and share it with you guys. So stick around and I'll be right back. Okay, first look. I've got on the chocolate colored um, turtleneck. That's the color they're calling it. And um, I can't tell you guys how soft this is. You can see it's got the ribbing in the fabric. It's made of rayon and some elastane or spandex, giving it a little bit of stretch. And nothing about it is scratchy or itchy. And I love the length on it. It hits me perfectly if I wanted to do a front tuck and some jeans or something I could but I could leave it out and it's just the right length on me so from that standpoint this is definitely a winner for me and this is just a good layer to have in the winter time you know to put under jackets or whatever or wear by itself on those cold days now I will go over the prices let's see this is the ribbed turtleneck by Lush and chocolate, it is $48. And it's it's not a sweater, but it's a little bit thicker than just a t-shirt. It definitely has the fuzzy factor of a sweater. Um, so it's kind of somewhere in between. Now the skirt, the skirt is by Kinsey. And this is a size six. And Kinsey is more of a junior uh, brand, I think. And um, while the skirt fits, it's a little bit snug up here, and I feel like it's a little it's a little short, or it is short. And so, but I really like it a lot. And you all help me. I'm wondering if I got it in an eight, that would be bigger in the waist so it could sit down, you know, lower on my hips and give me some more length down here. So I might try to exchange it for an eight if they have it and try that out and just see how it works because the way it fits right now I, I feel like it's just too too short for me I mean that's a good four inches above my kneecap and I'm just you know I'm not trying to look like I'm 20 years younger than I am you know but I do really like it and I just put it on with these um these scrunch boots from Walmart that really go with the color of this sweater nicely. So cute, cute outfit. Skirt is just short. Um, the skirt is, like I said, by Kinsey, size six, and it is $58. So there's the first look. Let me know what you think, and I'm gonna get changed and see what else we can find. Okay, next outfit. This is super casual and cute. 
It's the sweatshirt that says favorite daughter. And I really like this sweatshirt. It's kind of on the thin side, which is good for my climate. It's soft, it's fleecy on the inside, of course, but it's not like overly thick and heavy. And I also like that it's got um, the drop shoulders like this rather than raglan sleeves. Um, I just like the way sleeves like this fit on me better than a raglan sleeve. That's just my personal preference. Um, so I'm liking a sweatshirt. The jeans, these are the CNC California jeans. They are a high rise straight leg. And they're a high rise, but they are not too high rise on me. They're actually very comfortable and they're fitting me really well. And uh, they're a button fly, which usually is not my first choice, but these buttons very easily. And I'm kind of liking the fit on these. Y'all tell me what you think. Um, the length is perfect. Of course, for this, I, I just put it on with some white sneakers, but uh, the shape of and the taper of this leg and where it hits on me, um, I think it's going to look good with some slides or mules or some booties. So I'll try to show you that in just a second. But yeah, what do you think? Just a nice, cute, comfy, cozy outfit for knocking around on the weekends or whenever. Uh, let me tell you some prices. Uh, the jeans, the Pasadena High Rise Straight, they are $68. That's not a bad price these days for denim. And then um, the Favorite Daughter Sweatshirt by Suburban Riot, it is $68. So sweatshirt's the same price as the jeans. So there you go. All right, let me try on. So, oh, I'm gonna slip on this vest with this and just show you how the vest is because this is definitely something that I would wear you know to a ball game to a soccer field soccer practice <laughs> for my son you know whatever so there's the little vest so yeah I really like the vest I don't have one in this color but of course it's got the zipper it's got the pockets that you can unsnap and put something in there, but then you can also stick your hands in from the sides too, which I love. And let's see if it zips, if I need to do that. Yep, perfect. It's a size small and I can layer it over a sweatshirt. So that means I could layer it over pretty much anything I would want to layer it over. So there you go. Great casual fall outfit. All right, now let me change tops and I'll be right back. Sorry, I get ahead of myself all the time. The vest, I forgot to tell you about it. The vest is by Thread and Supply. It's the Stratton vest in the color Driftwood and a size small and it is $58. So now I'll get changed and be right back. Okay, next outfit, same jeans of course. And I just put on the other uh, turtleneck just to show you guys this color. Um, like I said, these are by Lush and they are $48, which is not a bad price. Um, do I need both these colors? I don't know, they're pretty good basics. Um, but if I had to pick one, help me decide which color do you think is more flattering for me? The chocolatey brown or the green? Either color would look really good with denim, which is honestly what I wear most of the time. Um, but I wanted to show you guys these jeans and how they look with a different shoe. Um, I put them on with these little uh, loafer mules from Walmart. And I love the way this leg looks with um, a mule. It's just the perfect length. It's all the way down, you know, to the top of my foot, but not too long. And it's got the little notch right there in the ankle, which is just really cute. So I'm really liking these jeans. I have been wanting another 
pair of straight leg jeans and I asked for that in this box. So I said, hey, I want another pair of just straight leg jeans. I've got a couple of pairs that are straight leg but more ankle length. So this would be the only pair of jeans I have that are straight leg and full length. So, like I said, let me know what you think. Of course, I'll watch the footage back and see, you know, what I'm thinking after I see myself in them. But yeah, and I also think they would look good with a um, higher heeled booty. I've got another pair of shoes here. I've got my soft slides I'm gonna show you guys. I think they look really nice with these shoes as well. So I've got a couple of pairs of heeled mules that I think will look really good with these jeans. So I think I've talked myself into these jeans. So let me know what you think. Oh, and last item, I'm gonna go ahead and put on this little jacket. Now for my climate, this is gonna be like a true winter time kind of thing, or this would be an outerwear piece in the fall if it's cool. But this is just yummy. It's like fleece on the outside and it's in camo, which you guys know I love camo. In gray tones with a little bit of a tan in there. And then Sherpa on the inside and then it's got the big collar that's Sherpa. And it comes down a little longer. What do you guys think? I think this would look good with some leggings, like my black uh, faux leather leggings maybe, and a black or gray or cream colored uh, shirt underneath. But this would just be a good jacket to throw on, you know, when I'm walking the dogs or anything and, and want something cozy and warm. But I'll have to watch the footage back and see what I think about it and see what I think about the fit. And you guys let me know too. Well, that is my wantable for September. So let me know what you think about all these items. Um, the jeans, these are really giving me a 90s kind of vibe. I think that's what it is, especially with the turtleneck. I think I'm feeling very 90s in this outfit. Um, so I do like the jeans. Um, the turtlenecks, I don't have any turtlenecks right now, I don't think. Um, I might have one. So let me know. I like this one because I can fold it over and it's not too, it's not too tight. That's number one. It's not restricting my neck and it's soft. So it's not scratchy or irritating my neck in any way. So I like these. I also like the length. It's perfect on me. I don't have to do anything to it. I don't even have to tuck it. I can just leave it as is. And that is a rare occurrence for me. Um, the vest I love, love the vest, think I'm keeping the vest. Um, I don't know about the skirt, I'm thinking about it, it's super cute. Um, well, I wouldn't keep it in this size, it would depend on if they had it in the next size up and how that fit me. But you guys let me know about this skirt, it may still be too short, even if I went up a size. So give me your honest opinion on that. Although it did make an awfully cute outfit with that brown turtleneck and the boots. And then of course the favorite daughter sweatshirt. That's just a fun graphic sweatshirt that I could wear around the house or out of the house. So let's look at some prices. The total of this whole box all seven items is $417. If I kept all seven, that would get my total down to $333. So, um, but if I keep five, I only have to keep five to get the discount. So what should my five be? If I have to narrow it down to five, um, probably the vest, the jeans, the sweatshirt and one or both of the turtlenecks. I'll have to see how this looks on in the footage. I couldn't tell. And I need you guys input. So 
let me know your opinions and I will have a link below. You will get, I believe it's $35 off if you use my link to um, try Wannable for yourself. They have great, great products, great prices, great selection. And if you have more of a casual lifestyle, like I do most of the time, it's a great box to try. Um, they do have some more dressy things too, but it just depends on, how, on your preferences and how you fill out your info and what you like on the stream. So, but I've been really pleased with Wantable and I have a ton of stuff in my closet from Wantable. So, if you haven't tried them, you should. So, that is it for today. That is my Wantable video for September. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't clicked that red subscribe button, go ahead and do that. And uh, follow me for all of my unboxings and all my shopping haul try-ons and the fun stuff we do here on my channel. And until I see you next time, have a stylish day. Bye-bye.